And not only that, but Kog'Ma going to be really hard to hit with those piercing arrows. Shields, speed coming in from Lulu. So they're going to have a pretty solid siege. And so Spenu moving back to the Juggerma, and they pull it off in the last game of this series. And no free camp should extend to, extend to Scuttlecraft as far as I'm aware yeah. with her Rek'Sai. Vivid takes a lot of damage. Raw has to walk away because she got, she got poked out, did the Sivir. Activates the ultimate, not going to be able to get much. And Nuclear being at full health means probably going to have the wave control advantages. The second red buff. Tucson there. But Catch going to eat a chain of corruption. Apple comes in, wild growth on to Catch. Can he actually make it out? I don't think so. And that is a very important kill for Hello. Incredible Miracle Hello. as the first blood goes to Frozen from Soul. Now TP advantage to Apple. Are they going to go for this? Vivid draws a depth charge. Hook Ooh. misses. Well, they lose interest on Vivid. They must have the tie, but they catch, catch, actually. Falls down super low, but able to tunnel away. We knew that Vivid will fall down, but they don't get catch as well. One kill for a dragon. Probably take it if you spend it. I think you definitely do right now. Frozen actually, Soul coming over the wall with the flash. Control this dragon area, just push in with reckless abandon. There's the ultimate though, Vivid's caught. He's gonna die in the front line. Will they get onto Nuka? They actually use flash for it. Two members flashing in. Tucson tanking the turret. One more auto, he'll fall down. Cancels the auto that would have killed Tucson. And they don't even take down the Sejuani. Still double kill right there for Roar, finally. Catch with a Prey Seeker will finish off Tucson. Up the Juggermaw as best they're able and keep the tank away from this. Here's a dive going down. Catches in the back alongside Vivid, but Frozen's kiting this out. Twisted advance onto Frozen. He gets popped in the backside. Apple's here, however, chasing him up, gets punted out. But the Kogma and the Lulu are dead. Tucson here now, no ultimate. Chasing down Soul. Here comes On Roar. The on the hunts used, they're gonna just follow on to Soul. Twisted advance to the Scuttle Crab and a flash will open up enough space. It's a two for two trade. So it's become a lot more challenging. Here we go. There's the slow. Kogma still up, however. Unbreakable will goes down for the Alistair. They're focusing the Alistair down anyway. Tucson gets in front. Wild growth. A little bit wasted right there, actually. They need that wild growth if they want to re engage. But they'll back away. This will give I am exclusive. And Frozen's hit the item timings that we know every Varus player loves to hit. The double armor penetration items, the mirror mana completed. Goodbye, catch, catch gets caught. He's dead. And where's the follow up? Can they get Sauce in as well? There's a wild growth. TP coming in from the side. Frozen snags one. Apple showing just how bad Vladimir with TP is. Thank you. And what is Spender to do? Lulu's completely out of the fight. Well, they can poke from the backside with this Trinity Force. Tucson getting caught out a little bit. He's going to go down to the Kog'Maw. Actually, Vivid takes the kill in the end, but now they're able to push back just a little bit. Roar on the side. Roar very low, and he's getting poked out. There's the Whimsy Kog'Maw. He's on to Roar still, and Roar forces the flash. No mana on the nuclear sidesteps, and he gets surrounded after over-pursuing. This time, though, they're actually doing it. We're not going to see the health bars. That 8,000 health, still pretty healthy. Catches in the area, but there's so much CC that how do you actually even get in range? And there you go. Easy Baron completed catch. Tied up with the depth charge. Chain of Corruption already onto Soul. They're turning onto him right now. Soul has no backup and eventually dies in the middle of the melee. Get turret damage down if you're Vitamir to justify it. Get another poor teleport. You can TP if things start to go badly. Catch coming in, he's got to get the knockup. There's the TP from Vladimir. Vivid in the middle getting a big, big knockup. And look at the Hemo Plague on the back line from Apple. Apple just going nuts as the team commits to that engagement. Double kill for Frozen, ace courtesy of Roar. And now they get the fight they needed. And Apple could have waited for that one on the last one as well. They still get the big team fight victory, and they push forward. They should be able to take the game. Yeah, look, they had to wait for an engage from the enemy team, so not proactive play once again, but at least they were smart in returning the Vladimir bot, forcing in an engage from the Rek'Sai. They could only go poorly. They're tanking it up a lot. We're not that late in the game, but with 
four members, they should be able to finally finish out this series after what was a very dire straits for them in the middle of game two. Yeah, barely eking this one out. Two seconds left on nuclear. It's not going to be enough. There's the GG. I am wins the series two to one. Just snatches it out right at the end. I'm glad to see a decisive team fight at long last, but man, I am.